Hi, my name is Anna from Creating Homes and we are here today with Tatiana from Gumbok. And today the subject is going to be sustainable design and we are going to talk about how can we introduce and integrate ecological solutions into the interior design. So Tatiana, tell us a little bit how does your company work and for example, if I, I have a, lot, a client, uh, many clients actually, that always try and want to have more ecological solutions in their house and in the, um, how can they integrate it. So can you give me a little bit of tips? What, yes. How can I do it? Of course, I mean, Kumbuk was born uh, three years ago to help people who live in Dubai and in the UAE to lead a more eco-friendly lifestyle. And we love to give tips about what to do in your homes and in your mm -hmm. everyday life. So for the house, definitely, you have certain main topics such as energy, okay. uh, water consumption, uh, recycling and uh, in Dubai a lot of people sometimes don't feel comfortable with these topics. Yeah. They don't know what is available what is not. So we love to give them answers. We were talking about recycling and I noticed that now for example in Marina uh, there's more and more recycling bins. But for example imagine that I don't, need, I, I don't live close to a recycling bin. What can I do? Can I call a company or something that can pick up my garbage? Definitely. I mean, I know that there's a service that started last year. The company is called Dalsco. You will actually see a lot of their trucks around Dubai. Okay. And they started offering a um, home service where once a week um, they will come and pick up the waste from you. It is not available uh, everywhere in Dubai. Mm -hmm. They are just starting. So um, you should call them, there's a, there's a number on their website and ask them if the uh, region where you live in Dubai is actually serviced by them. Another thing also for recycling is the food waste. This is another item available in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Beans that allow you to uh, recycle your food waste. Oh, like a composting. And produce composting, exactly. Okay. So if you have a garden and love cool. gardening, you can produce your own fertilizer. I'm aware that in UAE, uh, we have the, the biggest food, the carbon footprint and this is, I mean, <laughs> a big problem and a big responsibility for all of us because we are responsible for it. So, how do you think we can work on it? Um, there are many things we can do at home um, and we should tackle energy and water consumption. Okay. Um, energy at home means AC. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> definitely AC can play an important role mm -hmm. in decoration. You have some systems that can be heated. Mm -hmm. But um, I've seen beautiful things from LG, for example, mm -hmm. where they create panels okay. and that you can put pictures on it. And they are made to reduce the uh, electricity consumption. Many people ask, ask us what to do with the light bulbs when they change them. Yeah. So it's important to be aware that in Dubai there is a place where you can bring your old light bulbs. Oh, uh, there is so. a health risk because they contain mercury. Yeah, yeah. Um, the thermal. Exactly. Like and the when thermal. it goes to the to the water, it's very it's very it's very, very dangerous. Like it's very dangerous. Of yeah. course, for you, if you touch it. So yeah. if uh, people want to actually collect these light bulbs, mm -hmm. there's a place in uh, Tikon. Okay. You know, the where they can drop them. Off. That's nice. I have a couple at home. Good. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm collecting them. <laughs> Um, another factor is the kind of appliances you choose for your uh, mm -hmm. home. Yeah, that's, that's a big issue. It's a big issue. Um, we wash a lot here, yeah. uh, dishwasher, laundry. Mm -hmm. um, so the advice would be when they go buy these items to always choose AAA rating. Yeah, I think you, you some, many times you even see the sticker that you have the going from red to green. Exactly. So it's that's, like a pyramid. Yeah. yeah, we always advise our clients to for example, we uh, buy a lot from Tika or Milan, yeah. and they are like top ranging uh, brands that already have this ecological behavior. And yeah. That's very it. important yeah. because it helps you save the environment mm -hmm. but also save money. Another important topic in uh, Dubai is definitely water consumption. Yeah. Uh, the water we use in our homes and in our pools is... Not the uh, salted one. <laughs> not the salted one. <laughs> That's when we have plenty. Yeah. Um, but definitely it comes from the salted mm -hmm. water. We have uh, some of the biggest desalination plants yes, here in the UAE. 
consumes a lot of energy. Uh, we burn a lot of petrol for, uh, to get this water. And uh, some people think that the quality is not good, so I would like to reassure everybody that the okay. newer water is one of the best uh, available in the market. So can I drink it directly from the, uh, the tap? Theoretically, you could. It's okay. drinking water. The only issue is where the water goes through. So okay. let's say if you live in an apartment, definitely you will never know the quality of the okay. pipes and how often it's been cleaned. Okay. Maybe if you have a villa, it's easier. You can have a maintenance company who comes and yeah. check it for you. You okay. also have eco-friendly ways to clean mm -hmm. tanks and pipes. Like mm -hmm. from they don't use chemicals, harmful chemicals. But sometimes they would come, clean your tank with very, very strong And then chemicals. you're drinking the chemicals. Exactly. So it's very clear, but <laughs> <laughs> quite harmful. Um, Not the win-win situation, is like exactly. the opposite. So our advice is to put actually a, a filter under okay. the sink. Um, if you, I put it myself, mm -hmm. it's uh, very, very easy and convenient. Okay. You have um, this little filter and you will have a second faucet okay. coming out. Okay. You can store the water in glass bottles in your fridge mm -hmm. and it's 100% safe. I, I think, think that's uh, very important. No, I think our clients will be super happy to yeah. know that they can have a, an ecological footprint and uh, behavior and still having it nicely integrated in their house and in the interior design. Yeah. Nowadays, we have been working with a lot of automated systems. So the client has um, everything controlling their iPad, like the music, the sound, uh, the aircon, everything. So is there any ecological system that we can also control in the... Definitely. I mean, all these systems uh, are already on their own um, greener than okay. um, uh, not having them. Mm -hmm. They allow you to control everything from the temperature you have in your house to the temperature you have in your fridge. Um, okay. You can control the lights, the temperature mm -hmm. of the pool, and all these things are very easy to use from your iPhone to your iPad. Um, when you're on holiday, you can okay. control the temperature in your home. Something that is very important uh, in Dubai because uh, because of the humidity, sometimes yeah. if we don't keep the AC to a certain temperature, Something. we risk to come back and see the furniture completely it's ruined, ruined of course, we have by the happen. humidity. So it's important to know that you have these systems mm -hmm. and they are very green. Okay. Um, and uh, I would definitely advise someone who's building their new house or if they want to renovate and retrofit their homes, it's, um, it's something that needs to be taken in consideration. Definitely, if people want to find out more about what is available uh, today in the market, I would advise them to visit Future Cities, uh, first week of October. Um, also, Index, they're going to have a special mm -hmm. section dedicated to uh, sustainable design. And as well as Goombook, we will organize an event for the third year in Dubai Marina Mall called Future Green, where we'll have over 60 companies to come and showcase their services and products and meet with the public. So we definitely hope to see you there. Thank you so much, Tatiana, for being here with us today. And I hope you like it. If you want to learn more about the eco-friendly and the future systems, you can go to the next exhibition. It's going to be Index, in the beginning of next month. Index and future systems. So keep up and hope to see you soon.